guys, welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'm actually going to try a new method on my swavy hair. So swavy hair is slightly wavy, a little bit curly. I have some curls in there. If you go back about 13 years, on my YouTube channel of all the content that I've made, the very first videos that I was uploading, I actually had really curly hair. So I know that I have curly hair, but it really got me thinking about whether my hair is damaged or whether I really just have swavy hair now as an adult because I'm not really able to create that tight curl that I used to have back then. Um, and I think maybe I really do just have swavy hair now. But what I wanted to do today was actually try a new method on my swavy hair that I've seen a lot of girls with curly hair doing. And that is using the Denman brush. I've had this baby for such a long time. Um, I bought it when I first started buying wigs just to detangle them. And then I saw that this was really popular in the curly hair community and I figured it'd be a really great idea for me to try out to see how this is gonna work, this method. So I'm gonna show you a whole new way of doing my hair as opposed to the old videos that I have on my natural wavy hair. This is completely different. I just washed my hair, it's up. I have it in this turban. I actually switched over to this little duo, shampoo and conditioner. This is the Daily Nourishment Set, which hydrates and softens unruly hair, which is what I had. So that's the first thing that I do. So shampoo and conditioner are super important because they really do determine your outcome of your waves or your curls. So now we're gonna move on to the next step, which is detangling the hair from the bottom, working my way up. And I'm using this brush, which I actually, well, this one's from Bellamy, but it's the, kind of like the Tangle Teaser. I think that's what it's called. All right, so there you have it. I'm gonna take one of these rat tail combs and I'm going to section off some hair from the crown. I am going to pin this out the way. So I'm just going to twist, curl it and clip it out the way. So I already went ahead and I actually did one side of my hair, the bottom half. And as you can see, there's a lot of definition. There definitely is some separation, which is something that I love with my wavy hair. So step one is misting your hair with water. I read that you don't want it to be dry or damp. You want it to be a little bit more soaking than anything. After that, you're supposed to take a Denman brush, which is this one here. You can pick it up on Amazon. And then you're supposed to take small sections of hair and brush them out. This is supposed to give you definition and volume. So we'll see how that works out. And then you're supposed to take like a curl activating cream. I have this one here by a brand called Verb and I picked it up at Sephora just recently. And this is really great because it gives you definition, it defrizzes the hair, it also repairs the hair. So just taking a small amount, what I'm gonna do now is actually start by scrunching my hair up. Right? Isn't this super easy? That's why I loved it. But I want to see how it looks once it dries. So we'll see. And now let's do the top section. So with this one, what I'm going to do is actually part my hair. So let me repeat the process with the hair. And then for these back sections, I'm actually going to brush them up. That way when they fall, I also have some volume at the crown. Okay, so now it's really important if you have wavy hair, not to use too much leave-in product because if not, it's gonna weigh your hair down and it's also going to look, it's not gonna look fluffy it's going to look more like you have a lot of product. So, so I would take about this much, which is just a little bit, and I would rub it through my hands, and I'm just going to use this section for this section, and then I'll move on to this one. 
So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna try to keep the product for the most part on the ends also, that way the roots don't get heavy. This is really important when styling wavy hair, I've come to find out. You can see there's a lot of pattern going on, which is something that's getting me so excited. And I'm gonna do the rest. So one thing that I noticed with the Denman brush method is that it gave me a lot of separation and a lot of definition. They don't look forced or anything like that. And let's see how they look once they dry. So I'm just gonna use my Dyson with the diffuser attachment. And I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse my hair. Wow. Guys, seriously, check this out. So far, so good, and I'm not even done drying my hair. All right, so here's the final look. I am really ecstatic, excited, happy about the outcome of my hair because it's been such a long time since I'm able to actually rock my wavy hair like this. It's still a little bit damp in some areas and usually when it fully dries 100%, it's a lot. Just, it has even more volume. But honestly, this curl cream is the bomb. I really love it, it really does give me you know, frizz free hair, obviously not 100% because this is not a blowout and I have wavy hair. So there's a little bit of like frizziness here, but this is not like this frizzy ball, you know what I mean? Like there's still some definition here and I could flip it like to this side and look at that, right? Wow. You know what I'm gonna do next time? I'm actually gonna make the part here and then diffuse my hair with the part here and then flip it over to the other side because I feel like I have so much more volume because it's going the opposite direction now, but I am really loving it. I've had this brush for like the longest time. So this is like the one tool that you need, guys. This brush right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video for all my girls with swavy hair. I hope you guys get inspired to try a new routine. Give it a try, leave me a comment down below if you guys have any questions or comments. I'll be happy to get back at you guys. But until then, have a blessed and beautiful day and I can't wait to see you guys on my next video. Bye.